The lunge is one of the best exercises for your body. It can be challenging to learn, however. Let me show you a few simple tips that can help you learn how to use the lunge effectively. Then, my circuit training workout will be easy for you to produce great results. You're gonna love it. Using a chair to learn the lunge exercise is a great tool to having results. I'm gonna turn to the side here and do an alternating reverse lunge. Watch what goes on in my knees and my hips. That's the key to learning the lunge. It's just some of my body weight is gonna be on this chair. I'm gonna put my hands up high like this so you can see my hips. I'm gonna step back, bend both knees and both hips and come down to this low position. Notice 90 degrees in my knee. Notice that my back knee is bent. Also, notice that on my back foot, the weight is on the ball of my foot. But on the front foot, the weight is on my heel, not my toe. If you can remember these great points, then you'll master the lunge in no time at all. Now it's time to elevate my body weight. And then I bend both knees again. Remember, it's important to bend both your front and your back knee. And as I bend them again, I come right back down to that low position. Now I'm gonna bring my leg back up, try it with my other leg. I step back, I bend both knees, and I end up in that low position. And I'll extend both knees and come back up. Now I'll show you to tempo. Right leg, back. Right leg, up. Left leg, back. Left leg, up. And I'll repeat that. Right leg's back, left leg's back. And there you have it, the reverse lunge using a chair to help with balance. Now you're ready for my circuit training workout. You're gonna love it. For my total body circuit, I'm using five pound dumbbells. If you're new to this, try starting with two or three pounds. You'll still get a lot out of it and you won't be too sore the next day. Starts out, with lunges. I'm gonna do a reverse lunge for sets of 10, okay? Then I'm gonna go to my upper body exercises. Here we go, reverse lunge. Right leg, come back up, now left leg. Let's repeat it, here we go. Now two, and up. I'm already feeling this, this is great. Here's three, and up. Breathe strong, and up. I'm right here in my living room and I'm getting a great workout. You don't have to spend a lot of money on all this equipment or expensive gym memberships. And up. Lunge back, bring it up. Are you with me here? I hope you are. I'm feeling great today and I'm gonna have a great workout by the end of the day. It's back and up. Good job. How about four more? I know you can do this. Stay with me here. That's on each leg, by the way, so it's three more. And if I'm counting single counts, it's two more. That makes it four and up. Now three, good job. Almost there. Last one, stand it up. Big inhale and exhale. Now it's time for upper body. Shoulder presses first, 10 repetitions. Here we go. It's up and tap those weights. Back down to starting position, right over those shoulders. Here we go. Two, three, four, focus. You're doing great, hang in there with me. Yeah, I'm working hard too. That's the name of the game, isn't it? I think that's five, so that means five more. Four more, three. I'm cooking now. Last one right here, great job. Bring them down to your waist with the arms straight. Next exercise, upright row. It looks like this. Bring them all the way down. Try it again for two. And down. Whew. This is a whopping circuit. I've been doing it for years. It's given me great results. It'll give you great results too. How about five more? Come on now, you can do it. Hang in there with me. Three more. Two. All right, last one, and down. I need some air, how about a big breath? And out, good job. Next one is an integrated exercise. First one, front deltoid raise right to here, slowly down to the hips, integrated with a lateral deltoid raise. 
right out to the sides, then back down. That's one, we've got nine more, don't we? Here's two, down, sides, down. So it's eight more. God, I'm not sure if I can get through this, but you know what? I'm gonna try. Seven. I'm breathing, and I'm actually breathing heavy now. I know you are too at home. That's okay. That's right. Five more. Four more. Feeling great. We're getting there, gang. Come on, work with me. Three more. Two to go. Almost there. Last one to the front, slowly down. Last one to the side, slowly down. Now I'm gonna rest my weights. Whew, that was hard work. That was one circuit. I suggest beginners start there. If you're more advanced, you can do a second set and a third set. All I'd recommend is to rest 30 seconds in between each of those circuits. Three sets of that takes about seven minutes. Now that's not a lot of time, is it? You give me seven minutes three times a week, I'll guarantee you great results. You know, that was a tough circuit. My muscles are cooking right now, and I'm sure yours are too. Next, I'm gonna work my core. I'm gonna do an exercise that's isometric. That means there's not any movement going on. It's called the plank. Watch me as I take you through it. I'm gonna get into a push-up position on my toes, bend both my elbows and put my forearms to the floor and hold it. Yeah, that's right, just hold it, no moving. Try to avoid what I call Pike's Peak or Death Valley and just hold it in a flat or plank position. I'm gonna go for 60 seconds. Can you hang with me? I think you can. Breathe in, in, out, in a relaxed fashion. You'll notice some shaking going on. Try to hang there with me. Now I'm gonna go to my sides. I'm gonna try to not have my hips hit the floor. My arm goes like this. My top arm goes like that. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. We're already one third of the way there. Breathe in and out, relaxed. Squeeze right here and hold yourself steady. Okay, now let's try to go to the other side, trying not to let those hips hit the floor. If they do, that's okay, you'll live. Just try to strive for that as an advancement. Other side. Again, 30 seconds here. And when you're done with that, bring it back to the front and then to the knees. In fact, a tempered down version of the plank for beginners, has you starting on your knees, not your toes. It looks like this. In the sides. That was great, wasn't it? Either version that you use will show you results.